So, you managed to get here at last, Béranger. Good morning, Sheila. Late as usual, of course. Our appointment was for 11.30, and that's practically the day. I'm sorry. Have you, have you been waiting long? No, I've just arrived myself, as you saw. Well, in that case, I don't feel so bad. If you don't no, no, it's different with me. I don't like waiting. I have no time to waste, and as you're never on time, I come late on purpose at a time when I presume you'll be there. You're right, quite right, but... No, don't try to pretend you're ever on time. I wouldn't say that. And there you are, you see? Uh, what are you going to be drinking? You mean to say you've got a thirst even at this time in the morning? It's so hot and dry. The more you drink, the thirstier you get. Popular science tells us that. You'd be less thirsty and you'd be less dry. In popular science, we can think that there's some clouds in the sky. Well, that wouldn't help you any, Baron. You're not thirsty for what? I don't understand what you mean. You know perfectly well what I mean. I'm talking about your parched throat. Now, that's a territory that can't get enough. To compare my throat to a piece of land, you're in a bad way, my friend. Wait, you think so? You're not blind, you know. You're dropping with fatigue. You've gone without your sleep again. You yawn all the time. You're dead tired. My head is a bit sick. You reek of alcohol. It's true, I have got a bit of a hangover. Well, it's the same every Sunday morning. Not to mention the other days of the week. Not quite as much, because of the odds. And what's happened here to not tie? Us during your orgy, I suppose. You're right. Whatever could I have done? Here, put this one on. Thank you. And your hair, it's all over the place. Here's a comb. Thank you. And you haven't even shaved. Just look at yourself. My tongue's all coated. Well, I'm not surprised. You're headed for cirrhosis, my friend. Do you think so? Look at your shirt, it's all crumbled. Your clothes are downright filthy. It, and your shoes haven't even been touched. And look at your shoulders. What's the matter with my shoulders? Turn around. Come on, turn around. You've been resting against some wall. Heavens. Oh, I, I don't have a brush. That would make my pockets bulge. Where did you get them? I don't remember. I'm ashamed to be your friend. You know, you're very hard on me. Well, I have every reason to be. Listen, John. There are so few distractions in this town. I'm so bored. I work eight hours a day with only three weeks vacation a year. So I can understand that Saturday night comes around. Just to relax. My dear man, everybody has to work. I spend eight hours a day in the office, and even so, you don't see me. Willpower, my good man, willpower. Yeah, but everyone hasn't got as much willpower as you. Just can't get used to it. Get used to life. Well, everybody has to get used to it. Or do you consider yourself some superior being? No, I don't pretend to be. I'm just good as you. As you. I'm just as good as you, if I may say so. I'm better because a superior man is the man who fulfills his duty. What duty? Well, his duty as an employee, for example. Oh yes, his duty as an employee. So where did your debauch take, pla take place last night, if you can remember? Celebrating our I cannot handle party. you anymore! Our friend Nobody invited me to our friend Agus party. I couldn't refuse. It wouldn't have been nice. Well, did I go there? That's probably uh, because you weren't invited. Good morning, gentlemen. Could I get you something to drink? True, I was not invited, but in any case, even if I had been invited, I wouldn't have gone. I mean, I wouldn't have gone because... Oh, what's going on? I... Oh, whatever is that? Whatever is it? Oh, rhinoceros! Oh, the rhinoceros. Oh, a rhinoceros! Come quick and look, it's a rhinoceros! It's rushing straight ahead, rushing against the shop window! Oh, well! A rhinoceros! Very happy to meet you, dear. 
Now the teacher to buy her things from somebody else. I still do let my cat go. You don't often see that. First time I've seen that. Could you hold him a moment for me? It would pass like a rocket. He wouldn't hurt a fly, dear. Now what happened to my wife? Oh, I know plenty more of that. Well, what'd you think of that? And good stuff too. Hey, don't hang about. Look after these gentlemen. What did I think of what? Rhinoceros, of course. What'd you think I meant? Nothing. It made, made a lot of dust. Two cognacs. Two cognacs, right. Two cognacs. Well, what'd you think about it? As I said, it made a lot of dust. Well, we have some good leads as well. And it comes a hundred francs a lead or two. A rhinoceros, it's unthinkable. It's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you for holding my cat. Two cognacs. Oh, uh, you're incorrigible. I, I ordered mineral water. She must have made a mistake. No thanks, darling. My husband's waiting for me. Perhaps another time? I sincerely hope so, madame. And so do I. Uh, the dust settled? It's a pleasure, creature. I just can't get over it. A rhinoceros. It's charming, isn't she? I'm going to explain to you a syllogy. Ha! A syllogism! A syllogism consists of a main proposition, a secondary one, and a conclusion. What conclusion? A rhinoceros. I just can't get over it. Yes, I can see you can't get over it. Well, it was a rhinoceros, all right? It's miles away by now. You must have been fantastic. A rhinoceros loose in the town, and you don't even bat an eyelid. Shouldn't be allowed. Uh, you're right, it shouldn't be allowed, but don't worry, it won't, it won't get us over here. We ought to pass the protest of the town council. Well, what's it there for? Excuse me. Uh, uh, maybe it came from the zoo. You're daydreaming. But I'm wide awake. Awake or asleep, it's the same thing. Uh, but there is some difference. That's not the point. But you just said dreaming awake and dreaming asleep were the same thing. I didn't understand. Dreaming awake and dreaming asleep is no different. I do dream. Well, you were I certainly dream. dreaming when you said that the rhinoceros escaped from a zoo. I only said perhaps. Because there hasn't been a zoo in this town for ages, since the di the ri the rhino all the animals died in the plague ages ago. Well, perhaps it came from a circus. And what circus are you talking about? I don't know. Some traveling circus. You know perfectly well that the district banned traveling performers from the di this district ages ago. There haven't been any since we were children. Well, perhaps it's been hiding under a stone or resting under some withered branch. Branch? If you think you're being witty, you're very much mistaken. You're just being a bore with your stupid paradoxes. You're incapable of talking seriously. Today, yes, but only because of... Today's the same as any other day. Not quite as much. Your witticisms are not very much inspired. I wasn't trying to be. I can't bear people to try and make fun of me. But my dear Jean, I would never allow myself. You just were allowing yourself. I would never think of it. You just did make fun of me. How could you possibly think? I think what is true. You know, you really can be obstinate sometimes. And now you're calling me a mule into the bargain? Even you must see how insulting it is. Listen, Jean, I haven't realized that it, 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 it is dangerous to have a rhinoceros roaming about the town, all right? It shouldn't be allowed. You're right, it shouldn't be allowed, but I mean, it's no reason for you to go on at me because, because some wretched persidactyl happens to pass by I me. Mean, a stupid quadruped, it's not very out of the picture, it doesn't exist any longer. I mean, there's so many things to talk about. To you. Oh, put that glass down, you're not to drink it. It's the oh, 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 what, are you afraid of that young girl? She doesn't look like an you unpleasant person. Quiet. You've lost control of your movements. See what comes of drinking. You're besotted and fact out. You're taking your own grave, my friend. You're destroying yourself. It's not that I like the taste of alcohol, but if I don't drink, I'm done for. I get frightened. So I drink. So I'm not frightened anymore. Frightened of what? me down and I can relax and forget about my problems. You're trying to escape from yourself. I'm tired. I've been tired for so many years. That's alcohol is more thing you drink with me. I'm conscious of my body at all times. It's almost as if I were made of lead. Being fanciful. I weigh more than you and even so
so. You don't. I feel light as a feather. Light as a feather. Uh, oh. Yeah. 
you'll be a cultured man. Another possibility is we could have one cat with five bottles. There you are, you see? And another with one. But would it still be a cat then? Why not? Instead of squandering all your money on a drink, you could buy a ticket to an interesting play. Do you know anything about the avant-garde theater everyone's talking about? Have you seen any of UNESCO's plays? No, unfortunately, you know, I don't appreciate By taking two of the eight paws away from the two cats, well, this one playing now. Take advantage. We could, we could have one cat with six paws. It would be an excellent initiation. Yeah, and one cat with no paws at all. In that case, one cat would be especially privileged. You know what? Kill them. Be right. And we would have one underprivileged cat deprived of all paws. I'm going to put myself in the future, just like you said. That would be unjust, but therefore not logical. I will. I promise you. No, you promise yourself. That's the main thing. Not logical. Because I will. logic. I promise myself. I'll keep my word to myself. Logic means justice. I get it. Justice. This evening, I'll, I'll, I'll buy, I'll buy uh, some tickets to the museum and also to the theater. I mean, will you come with me to the uh, museum this afternoon? No, not this afternoon. I have to take a rest this afternoon. Just it's in my program for the day. Logic. But you will come with me to the theater this evening. No, not this evening. <laughs> Your mind is getting clearer. I have to meet some friends this evening uh, for a drink. For a drink? What's more, by taking a cap with no paws at all, well, I promised you, though. Wouldn't be able to run I always keep my words. Hey, it's you that's going to be the bad example. Well, I mean, look, you're going out drinking. You're, all, you're already making progress in logic. But it's different with me. It's not a habit with me. I mean, with you, it's not the same thing at all. Why is it the same thing? I'm no drunkard, not me. That's in its nature. Then why does it make me, I was calling you a drunk man. Why does it make me want any more than you? Because there's moderation in everything. What's in a cat? And I'm a moderate person, not like you. What? What did you say? I said, I what said that. Saying? I said that. What? 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 what is going on? Oh, my God. Quickly. Right now? It had its head thrust 
down. Now, wasn't that doing anything? Precisely. One can see all the better. Oh, my God! You're talking nonsense. Nonsense? You dare to accuse me of talking nonsense? Yes, absolute blithering nonsense. You have to accept these things. I never talk nonsense in my life. You may be philosophical. You're just a pretentious show off. A pet. Now, gentlemen. What?
I second the two points. Yeah. Now, if you had seen, if we'd seen, if on the first occasion, if you had seen a rhinoceros with two horns. With, with two horns. And on the second occasion, a rhinoceros with one horn, that wouldn't be conclusive either. Even that wouldn't be conclusive. But why not? I don't get it at all. Oh, shoot. Or it is possible that since its first appearance, a rhinoceros may have lost a horn. And that both the first and second transit were still made by a single beast. I see, but don't interrupt. It is also possible that two rhinoceroses, both formerly with two horns, both lost the horn. <laughs> it's possible. Well, yes, I guess that's possible. If we could conclude that on the first occasion, so a rhinoceros with one horn, either Asiatic or African. Asiatic or African. And on the second occasion, a rhinoceros with two horns, either African or Asiatic. African or Asiatic. Yes. We could then conclude that we're doing two separate beasts. For it's highly likely that in the space of two minutes, a horn be grown on the nose of a rhinoceros to be visible. <laughs> it's highly likely that would imply one rhinoceros, either African or Asiatic. African or Asiatic. And one rhinoceros, either Asiatic or African. Asiatic or African. <laughs> For it's highly likely that a rhinoceros, the same beast, be born in two places at the same time. Or even successively. Which would be proved. Huh. Ah. That, that seems clear now, but it doesn't answer the question. Obviously, dear sir, but now the problem is correctly posed. It's quite logical. Good, it's quite logical. logical. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. Well, you know, it may be logical, but I are we going to stand?
my hat. Chief, Chief, come here. Read it to yourself. It's, it's in the paper. It's in the dead cat's column. Okay. Yesterday, just before lunchtime in the church square of our town, a cat was trampled to death by a pack of people. It wasn't exactly in the church square. Well, that's all it says. Well, that's, that's, that's clear enough. I never believe journalists. They're all liars. I don't need them to tell me what to think. I believe what I see with my own eyes. Speaking as a former teacher, I like things to be precise, scientifically valid. I've got a methodical mind. What's a methodical mind got to do with it? I think it's stated very precisely, Mr. Goldhard. And you call that precise? And what, pray, does it mean by a pachyderm? What does the editor of the Dead Cats call understand by a pachyderm? Does it say? And what does it mean by a cat? Well, who knows what a cat is? Does it concern a male cat or a female? What breed is it? In what color? The color bar is something I feel strongly about. I hate it! Oh, what does the color bar have to do with it, Mr. Botard? I think it's quite beside the point. Please forgive me, Mr. Pampelon, but the color problem bar is one of the great stumbling blocks of our time. We all know that, but it doesn't enter... It's not an issue to be dismissed lightly, Mr. Darden. The course of history has shown that racial... It doesn't enter into it! I'm not so oh, sure. Oh, the color bar is not the issue at stake. One should know miss an occasion to the opposite. Oh. We told you that none of us is in favor of the color bar. It's merely a question of a cat being run over by a pachyderm. And in this case, a rhinoceros. I'm an old hunter myself. Southerners have got too much imagination. Perhaps it's merely a flea run over by a mouse. People make mountains out of molehills. Let us just try to get things clear. You yourself do that. With your own eyes, see a rhinoceros strolling through the streets of the town. It didn't stroll. It ran. Oh. It's I'm obvious they were just making it up. You put too much trust in these journalists to help them invent their wretched newspapers and please the bosses they serve. And you mean to tell me, you, a qualified man of law, they've taken you in for a guinea for laughing. Ha ha ha! Do I have to tell you again that I saw the rhinoceros and others did too? Get away with you, and I thought you were a sensible girl. Mr. Bowtie, I can see straight, and I wasn't the only one watching. There were others there, too. Don't you understand? Oh, you know, I know it's with nothing to do with work, so I love it. Look, if it happened on Sunday, it happened on Sunday. I work on Sundays as well. I have no time for a priest to do the utmost to get me to go to church. Simply from preventing me from working and earning my bread by the sweat of my brow. Excuse me? I'm sorry. The fact that I despise you doesn't mean I don't just seem to hide. In any case, do you know what a rhinoceros looks like? It's a very big, ugly animal. <laughs> and you pride yourself on that precise thinking? My dear young Oh, lady, Mr. Botar, there's no need to start a lecture. We're not in school. That's a pity. Oh. Well, go on nine, Miss Daisy. Go put the time sheets away. You better be late. I campaigned against England wherever I find it, in a palace or a humble hut. Everywhere, even in printing. Mr. Austin. Bontar, I consider that you have gone too far. Well, I think so too, sir. He's <laughs> going. Are you suggesting, Mr. Dutton here, my colleague and yours, a first-class employee is ignorant? I wouldn't go so far as to say that. What the teaching you get at the university is not what you get at the ordinary schools. Oh. Anyways. Daisy, what about the time sheets? Uh, hey, Coming up a little clear, they came to you first. Come on now. Good morning, Mr. Pavlov. Hello. Good morning, Mr. Vigar, Mr. Bogart. Well, Mary Jane, did you happen to see rhinoceros by any chance? All you day at universities are expecting lunch with no knowledge. Oh, what? Rubbish! Oh, oh, yes, I did see one. Oh. So you see, I'm not mad at all. Oh, Mr. Banner Jane says it out of sheer breeze. He's a very different man. What's your first about saying you've seen rhinoceros? A lot. To boast of a fantastic statement by Miss Daisy. Everybody shivers in this Daisy. It's very understandable. Uh, well. uh, your... Gentlemen, that will do. I think time's getting on. Uh, Miss Daisy, you did see it though, didn't you? You both did see it. Oh, uh, yes. Oh, it's possible Mr. Banerjee thought he saw a rhinoceros. Anything's possible with him. He's got such a good imagination. <laughs> I wasn't the only one there. I mean, well, I don't even know how many horns he had. He doesn't even know how many he saw. But 
My friend John was there with me. I don't think you know what you're talking about. It was a unicorn, Grand Ostrich, Mr. Bellatower. Ugh. They're going to leave the two of them to have us on. I think I had two horns from what I've heard. That make up will your do, mind. gentlemen. Time is getting on. I don't have to see with you again. Mr. Baron Chick, did you see one red or two? Oh, it's hard to say. If you don't know, Miss Daisy here saw one unicorn right now. What about your rhinoceros? If you indeed saw one, did it have one horn or two? Exactly, that's the whole problem. It's all very dubious. Oh. I don't mean to be offensive, but your rhinoceros has never been seen in this country. There's a first time for everything, you know. You're, I repeat, it's never been seen, except in school book illustrations. Your rhinoceros is the flower of journalist's imagination. The word flower refers to our rhinoceros in the place. That's very true. Your rhinoceros is a myth. A myth? That will do, gentlemen. Yes. You're not paid to lay flying saucers. Well, nevertheless, a cat was trampled. You can't deny that. I was a witness to that. For our witnesses. Yes, and what a witness. Gentlemen, gentlemen. Example of collective yes. psychosis, Mr. Dudar. Just like religion, the opiate of the people. You know what, Mr. Motard? I believe that flying saucers. Oh, oh my God. God! That is enough. There has been enough gossip. Rhinoceroses or no rhinoceroses, flying saucers or no flying saucers. You're not paid to waste your time arguing about animals or flying things, real or imaginary. Imaginary. Real. Very real. That will do, gentlemen. Oh, I believe it ends with fuel discussion. It's not going to work. Very well, Mr. Conklin. You ought to achieve your wishes are our plans. Get on, gentlemen. I don't want to have to be forced to make a deduction on all of your salary. <laughs> Mr. Tudard. <laughs> Have you finished writing your report for the alcohol repression law? Uh, I'm just finishing it up, sir. Then get it done. The printers are waiting for you. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Baron Mr. Bonar. Have you finished correcting the proofs for the wine control regulation yet? Not yet, but they're well on the way. Then hurry up and get them done. We can't wait forever for you. Miss Daisy, I want you to up in, in my office. Yes, Mr. Papillon. I will see you all shortly, gentlemen. All right. Let's get down here. The wine control propriety law regarding propriety 1P not 2. The wine control law is 1L not 2. Regarding to the eastern slopes of the border. I haven't got that. You skipped the line. All right, I'll start over. The line control. Can you not write so loud? I can't concentrate with you screaming at the tops of your voices. <laughs> yeah, it's all hopes. What is all hopes? You and your rhinoceros business. You have this propaganda to get these rumors started. What am I propaganda? There's no question about propaganda. Do I have to tell you again that I saw the rhinoceros? I saw it with my own eyes on the Propaganda, propaganda for what? Oh, you know more than I do. Don't make it out yourself. Innocent. Are, are you suggesting, Mr. Bowtie, that I'm in the pay of some underground, argued, fergus taxation? I'm not standing for that. It's an insult. Now, I tell you, it's an insult. I honor. <laughs> oh, Is Mr. Boob not in today? Uh, no, he isn't. He must be absent. Did he let anyone know he was ill and not coming in? Oh! If this goes on, I'm going to fire him. It hasn't been over. I said, I'm going to take anything up until now. It's not going to go on like this. Does anyone have a key to his drawer? Here's a Mr. Good morning, Mr. Good. Good morning, Mr. Pepper. Good morning, everyone. Well, Mrs. Good. Where is your husband? Yeah. 
shit. It means something. It's all, it's all stinky. It's obviously a rhinoceros. Oh, it's what you saw in him, you as well. Now, now look, is it the Asiatic rhinoceros or the African with two parts? I don't know which is which. Do you still do? 
deny any rhinocerotic evidence. Um, what about the union? How should we take care of this business with Mr. Booth? Oh, I don't know. I don't see what decision they reach in the inquiry. And no, Mr. Dugard, I don't deny any rhinocerotic evidence. I never have. Well, that's not true. I repeat, I never have. But in my mind, I could not let a phenomenon exist. I must get to the bottom of this. If it means going with explanation, in which I will... Well, then soon. explain it to us. Yes, explain it, I will explain it. <laughs> Please, we're all listening. I'll explain it one day, I hope. Why not now? We'll go into explanation later, in private. I know the whys and the wherefores of this whole business! What? Why? Wherefores? Yeah, I can give a lot to know these whys and wherefores. I, never, I know the names of those responsible. The traitors. I'll unmask you all, you people, whatever you are. <laughs> You're evading the question. Oh, yes. yes. Let's have no evasion. Yes. Evading what? Me? Just now you accused us all from suffering of hallucinations. Yes. Yes. But now the hallucination has become a provocation. Well, how do you consider this change came about? Everybody knows about it. Even the man on the street knows about it. Only hypocrites pretend not to know. There's the fire in oh, There's going to be some big changes made around here. Up here. People that did this won't get away with it. That doesn't mean anything. Oh, it does a lot. Two out of the officers in that one. I don't know what the manager will say. These are exceptional circumstances. They'll keep on exploiting us until we drop them, of course. <laughs> after you, Miss Daisy. Oh, yes, of course, after you, Miss Daisy. Oh, yeah, there we go. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'll see you when you work. Bye, Miss Daisy. I'll see you. Goodbye. Um, you can come type the letters at my house if you want. I don't think so. Or not. Mary J, I remind you once again that we are not on a holiday, and I want you all back in this office as soon as possible. Just go on. No, 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 no. after you, Mr. Pepper. Now, that will be you first, naturally. Give me the letters on Miss Daisy's desk. Thank you. Oh, Papillon. Goodbye, gentlemen. Hand about my paper. Do not lock up the office. Oh, don't worry, Mr. Papillon. Everything's all set. Gentlemen, I'm about to be sent. Oh. I'm going to take this up with the proper authorities. Because I know in my mind that I want to get to the bottom of this so-called mystery. I thought it was all perfectly clear to you. Your irony doesn't affect me, Mr. Oh. Dujari. I'm have to prove positive of your treason. Good That's day, everyone. Sense. Good day! I'll meet you for a drink now, later. Oh, I'd like that very much, but I, I, I have to go visit, visit my friend, John. No, I, I do want to apologize. We, we had an unfortunate quarrel. That's perfectly understandable. No, 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 after you, Mr. Chick. Oh, no, Mr. Dudot, I, I insist after you. No, no, after you. Mr. Dudot, they're, they're waiting after you. No, no, after you. After you. you. have to go. No, after you. After you. No, after you. I insist after you. <laughs> Mr. Dudot, please, after you. After you. No, it's all I insist. Naturally. After, after, after you. After you. Oh, after you. Stop, 